On this Wednesday, the 20th of January, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. <clears throat> let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm this morning is Psalm number 38, page 636, Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. When my iniquities overwhelm me, like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and my companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me with when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Again, Jesus began to teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd gathered about him so that he got into a boat and sat in on it on the sea. And the whole crowd beside the sea on the land. And he taught them many things in parables. And in his teaching, he said to them, Listen. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it had not much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. 
Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and, its yield, and it yielded no grain. And other seeds fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing, and yielding thirtyfold, sixtyfold, and a hundredfold. And he said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, those who were about him with the twelve asked him concerning the parables. And he said to them, To you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. But for those outside, everything is in parables, so that they may indeed see, but not perceive, may indeed hear, but not understand. Least they should turn again and be forgiven. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word, and these are the ones along the path where the word is sown. And when they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word which is sown in them. And these, in like manner, are the ones sown upon rocky ground, who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy, and they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Then when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the lights and riches and the desire for other things enter in and choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. But those that were sown upon the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit, thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his co holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. We put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Today, on this day of inauguration, we turn to page 821, where we will pray together for sound government of our land. Page 821. O Lord, our governor, Bless the leaders of our land, that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Lord, keep this nation under your care. To the president and members of the cabinet, 
to governors of states, mayors of cities, and to all in administrative authority, grant wisdom and grace in the exercise of their duties. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To senators and representatives, and those who make our laws in states, cities, towns, give courage, wisdom, and foresight to provide for the needs of all our people and to fulfill our obligations in the community of nations. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To the judges and officers of our courts, give understanding and integrity that human rights may be safeguarded and justice served. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. And finally, teach our people to rely on your strength and to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens, that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well-being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name. For yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.